Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator. In this session, we shall learn few problems based on chapter 2 of class 6. Now, here is the first problem wherein you have to represent these on the number line. Okay, you have to represent these operations on the number line. So, now the first bit is you have to represent 6 plus 7 plus 7 on the number line okay now firstly let us draw the number line now what is a number line number line consists of a line okay and on that line we will mark numbers okay since we are dealing with whole numbers we will mark numbers starting from zero clear so now the distance between one number and the other number is called unit distance okay that means it is a fixed distance okay so from 0 to 1 it is unit distance from 1 to 2 it is unit distance from 2 to 3 it is unit distance okay nothing but a fixed distance as on your scale you have fixed distances Yes, 1 cm, 2 cm, all those are fixed distances here also. You will mark with a fixed distance, okay. That means every distance, everything, every distance will be same, okay. Now, let us mark the numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and so on. Okay. Now, we have 6 plus 7 plus 7. Okay. Firstly, let us mark 6. Okay. You have 6 here. Okay. That means from 0 to 6, you have 6 here. Okay. Now, you are adding 7 to 6. Okay. That means from 6, how many steps will you move? You have, you have to move 7 steps towards right or left you have to move 7 steps towards the right on the number line, okay? Since you are adding, addition means you will move to the right on the number line, clear? Subtraction means you will move to the left on the number line, clear? So now you are adding 7 to 6, that means 7 steps you have to move where? To the right on the number line, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this is 7, okay? So from 6 you have moved 7, seven steps, Okay, so this is 6 plus 7. Clear? And again you have to add one more 7. That means from this 13 you have to move 7 steps forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this is the 7th step. Okay? So this is 20. So the final answer, where, where did you reach? You have reached at the point 20. So 6 plus 7 plus 7 is nothing but 20 okay so we have started from 0 now since you have 6 the first number so you have jumped the 6 places now from 6 you have to add 7 to 6 so you you will move 7 steps forward to the right side since you are adding okay so 7 steps forward you are you have ended up at 13 now again from 13 you have to again add 7 steps so moving 7 steps you will reach at 20 finally clear so now let us see the second one 18 minus 9 okay firstly let us draw the number line clear so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and so on okay now what do you have the first number is 18 that means this is the first number okay and you have to subtract a 9 from 18 okay you are subtracting 9 from 18 which means you will start from 18 in, and you will move left okay so for addition you are moving to the right for subtraction you will move to the left on the number line and how many steps you have to move you have to move 9 steps to left on the number line okay so from 18 you will move 9 steps why because you are subtracting 9 okay so from 18 you will move 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 steps on the number line and you have arrived at 9 okay so 18 minus 9 is 9 so this is nothing but 18 minus 9 clear the question is 5 into 3 okay that means you have to move 5 units and how many times Three times you have to move, okay? So, starting from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is the first jump, okay? Like this, how many times will you jump? You will jump three times, okay? So, five units at a time, you will jump three times, clear? Since it is 5 into 3. So, this is the first 5. Now, the next 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, you will jump again, okay? Now, two times you have jumped. Now, the third time also you will jump. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
okay so 3 5s are 15 this is nothing but 3 into 5 so what did we do here 5 units we have taken at a time and you have jumped how many times 3 times so from 0 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 units you jumped one time again after 5 you have 1 6 6 is nothing but now you will count start counting by 1 1 2 3 4 5 times so jump okay so this is the second time you are jumping now again after 10 1 2 3 4 5 okay again you will jump so this is the third time so 5 into 3 is 15 okay so you will jump 5 units at a time and how many times you will jump like that you will jump 3 times since you have 5 into 3 clear moving on to the next question in this question you have to find which number is to the right of the other number okay so we have learned that on the number line if this is the number line the number which is greater than the other number suppose here there are two numbers now the number which is bigger is always to the right of the other number okay suppose you'll have 5 and you'll have 6 here I have told you that 6 is greater than 5 so 6 is to the right side of 5 do you remember so here also let us see which is bigger the bigger number lies to the right side of the other number on the number line okay now out of 895 and 239 which number is bigger 895 is bigger so that lies to the right side of 239 okay so if you draw the number line also this is 0 239 you will get here and so many numbers after that you will get what you will get 895 yes so the simple thing this is to the right of 239 okay that is what we wrote here clear now in the second number you can see this is 1001 this is 10001 now 1000 is bigger or 10000 is bigger 10,000 is bigger so 10,000 is to the right side of 1,000 okay the number which is bigger is to the right side of the other number okay here 10,000 is bigger so 10,000 is to the right side of 1,000 clear now here in this number let us count the number of digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 okay so same number of digits now here in the first digit you have 1 and here you have 2 so which number is bigger 1 or 2 2 is greater that means this number is to the right of the other number on the number line now the next question is you have to mark the smallest whole number on the number line okay so whole numbers you already know that whole numbers are nothing but numbers starting from 0 so 0 1 2 3 and so on are whole numbers now which is the smallest whole number you can find here 0 is the smallest whole number yes so now how do you mark the smallest whole number on the number line so on the number line you write 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on okay and the smallest number on the number line is 0 okay so this is the smallest number on the number line clear since 0 is the smallest whole number it is the smallest whole number on the number line now moving on to the next question you have to place the successor of 11 and predecessor of 5 on the number line okay so firstly let us write what is the successor of 11 successor is nothing but the next number okay after number predecessor is before number as i said pre pre means previous before okay successor success after okay i explained this in the concept video yes so successor is a after number so what comes after 11 you get 12 okay so pre is before number what comes before 5 4 yes so let us mark 4 and 12 on the number line okay they are asking us to mark the successor of 11 which is 12 on the number line and predecessor of 5 which is 4 on the number line okay so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and so on okay so this is the number line and i suggest you to use scale while you draw the number line okay and also while you mark it so that the distances are equal clear so now the successor of 11 is 12 where is 12 on this number line you find 12 here okay and predecessor of 5 is 4 where is 4 this is 4 okay so this is how you mark the successor of 
12 sorry the successor of 11 and predecessor of 5 on the number line so now moving on to the next question you have to fill this table okay so nothing but natural number is given to you and successor and predecessor they are asking okay i have already explained you that successor is nothing but after number so this is after number and predecessor is nothing but before number okay and how do you get the successor if you add one to this number you will get the successor and if you subtract to one you will get predecessor okay this is what we learnt so now successor sorry predecessor of 13 how will you get predecessor of 13 is nothing but before number what comes before 13 12 okay now what comes after 13 successor it is 14 okay now 237 what comes before 237 now we have already learned that predecessor is you will subtract one from the number okay so if you subtract one from 237 what do you get 236 okay so predecessor is 236 now successor is you will add one to this number 237 if you add one to 237 what do you get 238 so this is nothing but successor okay so now here 999 what is the predecessor of 999 predecessor is 998 okay you can subtract one from this number so it is 998 okay now what is the successor of 999 999 successor is you will add one okay so 9 plus 1 is 10 1 carried now 1 plus 9 is 10 1 carried 1 plus 9 is 10 so it is nothing but 1000 so after 999 what do you have you have 1000 okay now 26 what is the predecessor of 26 before number of 26 is 25 after number of 26 is 27 okay now 9 before number of 9 is 8 after number of 9 is 10 now 1 before number of 1 is what it is 0 after number of 1 is 2 okay but look here they are asking us to find a natural number okay so 0 is not a natural number but if you consider the set of whole numbers then 1 also has a predecessor which is 0 this also I have explained you in the concept video so if you want to write the predecessor of 1 you have to consider the whole numbers okay then you will get the predecessor of 1 which is 0 in natural numbers you don't have 0 yes so if you consider only natural numbers then you don't have predecessor for 0 but to get predecessor for 0 we consider whole numbers I hope you found this video useful if yes give this video a big thumbs up share it with all your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel thanks for watching